Hey guys, on today's review we're gonna be looking at Superheroes. It's a new app, but it's not what you think it would be, okay? It kind of plays with a high, rate, high definition um, layout that you will see right now. I'm gonna open it up. So everything's high def, so it's not bad at all actually, but it's mostly towards kids. So it maybe it's not for you, but uh, it's really high definition. I really like everything. Um, so we're just gonna get started. We are throughout the mission a little bit. Um, the mission is just pretty much a kid's imagination and we're just cutting out and designing this uh, costume for uh, our kid superheroes. So let's just get started with um, the hero symbol. So we just have to tap. It's a series of tapping, um, for example, the red. I can just tap on the red and then just color this. Now the way I'm coloring this is just with my finger. Okay, and this is how you have to color. So that's why it's mostly for kids. Because if you want to fill out the whole space with red, that would happen. And um, so we're just gonna color something simple. It's really, really easy, really responsive. It works well, all the controllers inside the game. Again, this is mostly recommended for kids, okay? I wouldn't really recommend this for anybody that's uh, 16 plus, although it is a little bit fun for older people. Um, so I'm just gonna tap on done. And then we're gonna get back into the game. So the game right now, it's a little bit slower than usual. Um, it usually doesn't lag at all. However, since um, kind of airplane this too, that's why it's lagging a little bit, but other than that, it's pretty good, high def, and uh, we're just gonna get started right now. So you can see how the symbols adapt. So you're pretty much designing stuff, and that's being done to the character we have here. Um, so these are just the startup stages of it. So to get out, all you guys have to do is just tap where you want your character to go and you want to guide it to wherever the boxes are, whatever mission you have. So right now it's this box down here, so if I tap, let's say on the left side, my guy would go to the left. If I tap to the right, he'll go there, so I can just tap where I want it to go. Finally, I can just tap on the box and he'll pretty much pick it up, right? So again, you have to just color it and he'll keep making this thing, so we're just gonna color this really fast. Not gonna get to it too fast. Uh, I'm getting you and cut it so I can choose where to cut. So I'm gonna make random cuts. Maybe not not all of them will work. It would make sense that they don't all work. But anyways, let's just leave it at that. Now this is gonna be a pretty ugly custom. However, of course you can make something better. Um, as you can see, it's just the kid's imagination playing kind of with that. It is a pretty interesting game. Um, again, if you're playing this on your iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch, for sure it's nice. Obviously, for this type of game, you want a bigger screen, so on your iPad, it'll look a lot better. Most games do, most games are way better on your iPad, just because you have something bigger, right? Um, you can also airplay this game, as well as other games. This one doesn't really incorporate airplay as much as other games other games you will see controllers on your ipad um and not not the whole thing not the, whole, the screen itself on your ipad as well as on, on your tv for example if you airplay however in this game um you'll see whatever you see on your ipad you'll you will see on your screen so we don't really uh it's not really meant to be airplay so if you're thinking of airplaying this it's it's an all right game but not the best. So this is the game, it's kind of interesting, they play a lot with imagination, it doesn't lag any lag that you see right now, again, it, it's just because I'm doing this recording, but um, other than that, there's really no lag with it. I've seen that it runs pretty great. In the start, it does take up a little bit of time to start up, so don't worry about it. If you downloaded this game and it doesn't start up after a minute, just wait two minutes for it. It does take a little bit. Again, that's usually just because the graphics, the graphics are pretty good. Now, uh, that symbol that you see right there, that's actually what I drew, so that's pretty funny.
So right now this is just him doing his stuff. I'm not controlling anything. I'm just watching what's happening. And uh, we'll see what happens later on. So in order to shoot, I'm supposed to just tap on them, just like anything on this game. If I don't tap anywhere, he will not do anything. So if I tap on this guy, he will shoot him, tap on that guy, he will shoot him as well. So like I said, only this starts where you're designing your stuff, um, so you don't have to worry too much about that. Okay, so it's not just a game to design stuff for your hero, but... Um, actually do something else besides that it's pretty bad that you can't shoot them from far away I wish I could So finally inside the game we're getting some action, we can shoot them actually from farther away. At the start it was more of a tutorial type of deal, but right now I could actually shoot at them, not just do whatever the game is telling me to do. Which is good, because I do want to move around, everybody wants to just move around. Anyways guys, that's it for this review of it. Um, you guys got a glimpse of how it's like to play this game. Um, you guys will decide if it's worth it or not. Like I said, it's not the greatest game for 16 plus I would say. But for kids it's pretty nice. It's not that violent at all as you can see. Um, it's just shooting and uh, you don't see any blood or anything like that in access. Which is good, and with the amount of games that we have today, it's better that we have regular games like this. And it's a pretty high def game, as you can see, the graphics are pretty nice. And um, you do get to play around, not just with fighting and shooting all the time, but you get to do different things besides just shooting. You can design your own custom, as you can see in the start. And right now, it's just this quest. After this quest, we will have different things to do. So it's not just shooting once again, and just fighting all the time but you do get to do different things. Anyways, uh, that's it. If you guys have any comments, questions, you can write them down here below in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.